Okay, so now I've got a nice square square edge. I'm going to um, I need to make this nice and rounded. The um, negative terminal needs to be sharp to allow the spark to leave, but the positive terminal has to be rounded. Um, otherwise, it burns and it doesn't get it. So what I've done is I've got a standard tool and I've ground I've ground it um, so that it has a, a round a round edge. Let me see that. Okay, there you go. So I'm going to just drop that in the tool and change the tool out. Let's get rid of these quick release chucks. Okay. And I'm gonna bring it up. And I'm just going to I don't know whether you can see that's now got a nice round on it. Uh, this burr I've now got to just take off with the other tool. Um, so great. Sterling and I are um, looking at making a, an ion drive uh, motor. Uh, so this is going to be its, um, the exhaust port. It's a piece of plastic tubing that I've coated in graphite. Uh, and the next thing we're going to do is copper plate it. Uh, so it's conductive and then we will put a um, plasma electrode in the center and we'll create a, the, the, the plasma spark going into the void which will draw um, air in and uh, as, as, the air, as it cascades onto the air it will force uh, ions out the back and this is going to be our motor. So I've created the um, uh, the, the power supply for the um, thing so let's just check this out so that's not producing any ions at the moment because um, it's not a plasma field once we once we put that into the uh, cup here it'll create a plasma field which will then force the ions out the back and it'll power our little spaceship so um, well good fun So here we have a uh, copper sulfate solution. We have the um, sacrificial copper at the back connected to the positive terminal. And the part we need to plate is um, connected to the negative terminal. We've got this at about 12 volts running at two amps. So um, let's see how it goes. Okay, so here is our um, plastic tube now copper plated I've got to clean all the sharp edges off because the um, the anode of the uh, is it anode no it's the cathode the cathode cannot um, have sharp edges um, so we've got to polish this up make it all nice and shiny now we're plating the anode at the moment um, and you can see the um, sacrificial part there is um, as it as the copper's being leached from it the impurities are coming to the surface and then just dropping to the bottom um, so it's only stealing pure copper from that um, and any impurities are just forming and falling away so um, that will end up a perfect circle and we'll, we'll make it into the uh, like a crown shape so it's got lots of sharp edges so it can produce the um the plasma spark into the other so so far so good okay so we have the <clears throat> the receiver and the um transmitter so all nice and sharp all nice and smooth and curvy so 
all we've got to do now is mount that and then mount this in the dead center of this and um, we should be good ion engine okay so here it is it's all together got the nice sharp pos uh, negative and the very smooth positive for the uh, irons to move across to uh, that should create a nice plasma shield and drive the ions as they collide with the air out the back so looking pretty good looking pretty good okay so here we are I've got the lights out so um, we should be able to see the the plasma so if I just turn it on we may get the um, odd spark um, especially if I'm talking near it because it, it pick up the um, the humidity of my breath so, here we go. So, can you see that as the irons are coming out they're blowing on that candle not quite strong enough to blow it out but you've got a really good plasma shield there that is 40,000 volts um, and we're pulling 3 amps That's pretty cool. The smell is amazing. Um, a bit like uh, during a thunderstorm, you've got that real strong ion smell in the air. Um, blow the candle out and see the flame. Okay, now we can see it. It's not all the way round, actually. Um, may need to adjust it. Okay, please you that. I hope, um, hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, any questions, uh, please leave them in the comments. Um, I'm going to mount this on a helium balloon and um, drive it and see how, how well it propels the balloon along. Great, thanks guys. See you in the next one. So here it is, finished. You can see the sharp negative line and the nicely smooth positive. So the, the ions uh, or the, uh, the spark plasma will create a, a shield of plasma going onto there, which will draw the air in, create the um, ions and um, I've just knocked that off, fuck it.